Hello, this is Rick Baxter, Cost Control Software. In this video, I thought I'd do a little presentation on advanced shipment notices and how the autopilot feature uh, from Cost Control Software can help expedite those uh, delivery of the ASNs to your uh, customers. Let's start. Uh, I'm going to start actually, I'm going to start with the um, autopilot feature so that you kind of see what that does. So here is what's called the flight deck and I've only got three pilots set up but I'm going to focus on this third one right here uh, pilot number three send acknowledgement to customers and uh, I'm not going to spend too much I have several other videos that uh, kind of go through several examples of the autopilot but I do want you to see that the action is that it is going to send this uh, special report uh, which is the sales shipment report um, to the customer based on a trigger and the trigger is based on a data watch so there's a data watch trigger we're watching for a certain field to change so we're looking in the uh, sales shipment header the posted sales shipment header and we're looking for a field called autopilot status and when that field shows up as send shipment acknowledgement then it is going to trigger the release of this pilot actually it's this report uh, we're going to uh, generate that I believe as a uh, where does it show it here here it's going to send it as a sales shipment PDF file that's the name of the file that is going to be sent uh, to the customer when this uh, autopilot status changes to um, send shipment acknowledgement. So autopilot is constantly about every three seconds looking at that uh, field to see if there's anything ready to be sent out. Okay, with that in mind, let me, I'm going to park this out of the way for a minute. Let's go back to our roll center and we will set up the situation there. So I'm going to open up my sales orders. I'm going to drill down into my list and let's just add a new one so you can see this from scratch. So we'll assign a new number. Of course, I will use uh, 10,000, which is our Canon group. That's the customer we want. And we'll go ahead and process this. I've got a pop-up note here. It says, customer, oh, Canon group likes all boxes. They have the shipping label attached to the side of the box, not the top. So <clears throat> we normally put our shipping labels on the top of the box, but they request it on the side. So this is a little note that can pop up. Uh, it's called pop-up notes <laughs> um, within uh, the software. If you have questions on that, certainly call me. We're going to focus, though, on the advanced shipment notice. So down here, I'm going to put in an item. So let's put in a, go we'll use our one of our trusty uh, side panels or something like that. So it's a 70,000 item. In fact, I think I'll do the top panel this time. So we'll do a top panel and we'll do a quantity of 12. And yes, we know the customer's got a problem there. Okay, so I've got this in the, so I've got the sales order in here and I'm going to assume that you know how you can come in here and you can change the quantity to ship from 12 maybe down to, uh, let's say four. We're going to do a partial of four. So if we go ahead and say four, and by the way, before I go any further, let me just mention on the Canon group, one of the things that I changed, in fact, I think I can show it to you fairly quickly right here. If I go to the Canon Group car, uh, list, you'll see I've put my name, Rick Baxter dot at uh, costcontrolsoftware.com, uh, in as the contact on the Canon Group. That way I can actually get the email, otherwise it's going to go off to some uh, uh, demo uh, comp customer uh, email account. So we wanted to come to me and I've got my uh, live email and you'll notice there's nothing in my uh, actions today. Set that aside for a moment and we're going to go ahead and do the uh, shipment. So we will go ahead and post and we will post ship. So I'm going to ship the four. Ah, posting date can't be empty so we all know that. So I'm going to just put in the work date for today and we will post again, ship, <clears throat> and posting the lines. 
and it does pop again the message on the time that it does that that's optional whether you have those pop up show so it is now sent uh, it's basically generated that posted document now I'm going to move my emails onto the screen here because what should basically happen is the autopilot would pick up that uh, announcement that or the the uh, uh, shipment and say oh there's a new and I'll show that to you in just a moment but I want to see the uh, how quick it uh, the email comes in I think it'll be about 30 seconds something like that for me to receive that new email in my inbox in fact there it is right there so uh, let's open it up and this is an automated email so from this company sales shipment 102051 please review so I can open the document and so we get this shipment and this could should be changed the verbiage could be changed to say um, shipment notice or advanced shipment notice something like that in the on the heading here but here's the side panel there's the four and the back order is eight hopefully you can see that okay we ship remember we ship four of this top panel of the 12 that were ordered so this is the shipment document this is part of reports pack by the way so many of you are familiar with our uh, documents and uh, this is one of them uh, the shipment notification okay so autopilot automatically did that I'm gonna move my email back out of the way and I want to show one last thing before we exit out of this uh, presentation is I'm gonna go into the posted documents and we're going to go to the posted sales shipments right here and if I just scroll down to probably the very last one I think that was the number I'm going to open the document so this is the posted sales shipment okay same as if I just come up here and printed it and faxed it to somebody but I want you to see this new field right here so we've added a field called autopilot status this is what autopilot looks for when it is and it's scanning all these documents all the time it's scanning the documents all the time looking for one that says send shipment acknowledgement now currently this one says shipment acknowledgement sent so that is an indication that it's already been sent to the customer and the autopilot literally spots the fact that we've got a new one sends out the document and then changes when it's complete changes this field back to this other state which is to basically indicate that the uh, order acknowledgement has been uh, sent to the customer so pretty cool uh, all ties together very nicely and that is how you can use the autopilot and advent forward auto generating advanced uh, shipment notices and by the way it works well for uh, even sending the invoice okay because eventually now you're going to generate the invoice uh, to the customer for those chairs uh, or side, side panel sorry and then uh, it will auto send the uh, email of course as well thanks very much